It sounded like you said flesh with cash. And it's like, also, yes. Um, we don't, why, are you waifu pillows of ourselves just saying? It, 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 Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly Show. It covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, I'm going to furiously scroll to the top of the notes because the Talos yeah. Principle has received a massive back-end update. It's kind of the serious kind. I'm digging that NVIDIA finally released that 1660. Turns out it's pretty damn slow. Steam Movie Night is dead. Wait, what do you, what, what, what do you mean that never existed? And Steam's looking to buy another Dota derivative, because it's evolving. Linux gaming is on live support, and mainstream media needs to stop claiming things are dying, and feast your eyes on Intel's numbers. N not those, the Iris Pro numbers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm old man Ben Stone, joined every week by our team Canadian podcaster. You know him, that is Ben wow. Jordan's fang in Toronto land. And the man who's up past his bedtime in Britannia. That is Pedro Mateus. Yeah. <laughs> What's a bedtime anyway? <laughs> and together with you. About nine o'clock. Chat Realm Dynamic helping us form the last little bit of Cocaine Voldron. Before we get started, we do like to see what's going on in each other's life organs. Uh, I don't know. Jordan, you wrote something in there. so you I did, because you're always complaining. Oh, no one writes anything. So I I've took the time... <laughs> The three hours to come up with something to write. Yeah, so uh, we're so we're, we're throwing chairs at Dark Souls this week, and mm -hmm. so I need a new space bar on my keyboard because I broke it. Uh, I will give I will I will give Philco credit. They built some sturdy keyboards. The frame was fine. It was just the space bar that couldn't handle the pressure. Um, yeah. So apparently, um, and th 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 this came up last week. We were talking about like people doing mechanical keyboard builds, and so I'm like, okay, well, where do you get replacement keycaps? This seems like a decent place to start. Um, cause I figured like maybe you can get like them off AliExpress or whatever for like 99 cents or whatever. You can't buy individual spaceboard keyboards or spaceboard space keycaps. Keyboards. <laughs> spaceboard space keyboards. Spaceboard keyboards is my porn star name, by the way. I'm going to make a Dungeons and Dragons Keep character boy off that. Jeopardy. You'll kill <laughs> Alex. Keyboard seller, yeah. Um, no, but it's like, it's like 40 bucks for a pair of, uh, mechan uh, cherry, uh, mechanical, uh, keycaps, which is annoying. Also come Monday, I should be able to, I should know if I can make it to scale or not, which would be good. So that, that'll, that'll be fun. I'll need someone. Uh, nice. I, we'll, we'll have to figure out what to do for the uh, for the Thursday and Saturday streams, but come up with something. Well, Saturday streams? You're going to be on the show, baby. I'm, I'm, all right. <laughs> you're not I'll, getting I'll just... out of that. There's no escape from this nightmare. <laughs> oh, no. I thought we were going to like strap a GoPro to me and like make me like headbutt people at scale. <laughs> Who told you? You did. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, other thing. Uh, over here. Uh, I did learn something. Oh, I got the, uh, talking about it earlier. I got the IC graphite thermal pad. I'm going to try that. We're going to see if that works. It's probably not. It's probably going to kill everything because I wanted to adapt my finally getting around like a year later, the old hyper two twelve. because Hey man, those things work. Got the adapter that cooler master no longer makes, but you can find them on eBay and Amazon and places like that only to find out that this adapter only gives you vertical. It's like, <laughs> damn it. But hey, we were looking for an excuse to buy a new case. Maybe I'll justify that nonsense uh, away eventually. Who knows? Pedro, what's up, baby? Yeah, I, I too uh, have a... Uh, I went to eBay looking for uh, an, a Hyper 212 Evo that came with the AM4 adapter already because I went to try and get the free one that Cooler Master claimed was a thing and went to their website. It's like, okay, we need this information so we can send you the free one. And I provided the information and they went, no, sorry, you're not eligible. Well, then you can fuck off, Cooler Master. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You got an adapter anyway, didn't you? Well, yeah, I went no, to no, no. eBay. It's like, okay, 15 pounds for a 212 Evo with the AM4 adapter. Okay, cool. I mean, I mean, I mean are you sure it's, it has the AM4 adapter? You were a little hesitant they, when I asked you that before. They specifically say in the uh, eBay listing that, yes, it does. So, Jordan, I'll have you know, nothing in the history of ever has been sold fraudulently on eBay. Quit saying <laughs> no. Truth not, not, not eBay not, always not sides a, with the buyer all. anyway, so I'll just return it if they don't. <laughs> all right, something we all can't right. return, even when we do, it still manages to show up each and every single week. 
I mean, yeah, if you're, if you're curious if you can make any blockbuster or Steam comparisons, now you can. It's the Steam Update of the Week. Yeah, so much like much like blockbuster, Steam movies are, are dead. They got a little blog post here. <laughs> Yay. Uh, links to all this in our show notes. They're saying, you know, we're, we're changing some of the video content on Steam. Vis-a-vis, -vis, we're removing it because no, apparently nobody is buying movies on Steam. Um, so the, the deal is if you have bought movies on steam, they are not going anywhere. You can still download them. You can still watch them, but after a, they don't, they don't give a date that's going to be phased out at some point. We'll probably see it in a beta update. Valve time. Um, yeah, valve time. <laughs> yeah. And, val, val, valve time with blockbuster late fees. That's what went through my brain. Um, but yeah, um, they, uh, but you won't, uh, it's coming soon. You won't be able to buy them anymore. And you know what? Here, here's the thing. They, they they tried something and they failed. And failure is informative. Failure is not inherently a bad thing because you can learn mm -hmm. from it and maybe take take what you've learned and apply it to something else. Maybe 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 they'll maybe they'll make Steam streaming great or they'll just fuck it up like they did everything else. That's not the store. Um, I don't know, much. man. I, I kind of <laughs> think I had the reaction that a lot of people did. I was like, they they still had the video thing. I thought they got rid of that. It. Mm, I don't know. This would have been big crushing news, I think, like maybe if the Steam boxes had ever taken off. More on that at 11. But they didn't. Uh, basically, for me, all, all I thought of was, uh, I guess I can take those out of my like filtered search results. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the only thing they were doing. They would force you to hit the games filter when you were looking at new Linux releases. But uh, hey, Valve. Can we get some Netflix support for big picture mode? Yeah, I know that using the built-in browser works most of the time, but it would be better if you could actually have a dedicated Netflix app with proper per app inputs for so, your Steam so, controller. So, so that's so, something that people have actually asked for. So, so let, 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 let me get some Saran wrap to wrap them around my head. Here's my theory. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that that may, maybe this is the new partner API? Maybe maybe Valve is throwing in the towel and like partnering up with Amazon Prime or Netflix to integrate that into big picture. Mode. Oh, we could all dream watch it be Hulu. It. It's going to be some bullshit service you've never heard of. It's gonna it's gonna be live leak. <laughs> if you want to watch people die on Steam, oh. like literally die on Steam. <laughs> here we go. You've heard it here first. Crunchyroll. <laughs> I mean, they you already know, have a partnership that, with Crunchyroll. That, that they have a lot of anime bad. on Steam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish I had just not uttered that into existence because, like, shit, that would make sense with the audience, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Hmm. It shall be. Okay. But Steam's uh, dying, so it doesn't matter yeah. anyways. So the big article of the week comes from us, from Engadget, of all places. And it uh, there was a bit of a brouhaha on, uh, on Twitter over this is article. That, that and... Is that brouhaha with a J or an H? Yes. Uh, and <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, it's like I said on Twitter, it's a mostly factual, but otherwise an offensive article, uh, except for the title, because that was the big point of contention for everyone. Linux gaming is on a life support system called Steam. And then uh, the author goes on to describe that uh, in 2013, uh, Gaben said that uh, Linux was the future of gaming and we haven't seen any of that. And she points out that the Steam machines didn't really go anywhere. And then uh, there's actually some quotes from uh, Pierre Le Préfet or Pierre Le Guru. Uh, and he made some interesting claims. I will certainly be holding him accountable to that they uh he said that it's like valve is still very much committed to the linux um gaming side of things and they want to improve on it so i'm gonna hold you to that pierre <laughs> i mean i mean yeah the, the the title is like super clickbaity and the the you're you're right pedro the the contents of the article are like inoffensive and regurgitating a hundred things that we've covered on the show already yeah and i mean the, and the, even then, the title has some merit because we we are a captive market. Valve is hold, holding holding us captive, but at least for now they're treating us well, which sounds like a perfectly mm -hmm. normal thing to say for anything. Uh, <laughs> for now, <laughs> um, what is that safe but, word? <laughs> it's been lost to time. Um, but yeah, no, it it, de it definitely the argument the modern argument now definitely boils down to Win thirty two has sort of become the dominant uh, 
uh, binary format for games, much to Linux users and Microsoft chagrin. Microsoft wants everyone to move to UWP, and no one wants to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it looks like it looks like it. it if, if we're if we're going to be stuck with Win32, and we're just going to be here forever. Wine's not the most offensive option. It's definitely not. I mean, you could definitely go for the uh, epic approach of Sweetie's like, <laughs> Microsoft's evil and you need to fight against it. And so we're going to create a store that only works on the evil thing. But Valve, yeah. Valve actually showed up in like alternative yeah, option. Right. Yeah. And they're yeah. going to try something. And we've had a good time with that. But I am not. Valve is one of the main reasons that we've had such an advancement in Linux gaming you know, in like the last five, six years, it's like, what? Because when we started this show, it was just me and Jordan. It was rough to fill 30 minutes every week. <laughs> yeah, like 100%. That, that was like stretching some things. But then again, Valve is not the one responsible for the game engines that mm-hmm. are primarily used these days. Unreal Engine 4 and Unity, also Godot. So... Um- Although, to be fair, they are taking a little bit of responsibility. They're they're publishing like the the Steam Sockets API that has Linux compatibility. They're publishing the VR, the Steam input VR stuff, open source wise, that is ingestible by a number of engines. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Toggle, Voggle, th- th- those th- they've been aggressively open sourcing a lot of the technologies that they've been using to improve gra- the graphics stack on Linux and to improve gaming on Linux. So yeah, and, e- e- and they've e- been even, even then they're, they're contributing. Yeah. Yeah, they've actively been paying developers on Lunar G and Mesa and straight up just hiring people. Okay, now you work on this for us. Thank you. <laughs> and that's yeah. the other thing. I mean, it's definitely Valve. We, we come to find out, like, why is this DXVK making such progress? And you're like, oh, that's why. Money. Right. <laughs> but if, if, if. that kind of comes into like, what Jordan was tapping on. We do have Proton. It's not the best option, but Valve's like, yo, we need to make this a viable alternative and it kind of gives you hope of the commitment behind it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, we still got this because it is Valve. We're like, yeah, man, they're, they're really pushing Proton this week. Kind of take it on a week to week basis. But Dota 2 works under Linux, and we all love it, it. It does. And now Valve is thinking of acquiring uh, another one of these Dota spin It's It's funny because Dota was originally, um, it was a StarCraft mod uh, that made it into Warcraft, got really, really popular. And then became its own game. And now the more people are taking this game that is already a mutation of another game and making yet another game on top of it, which I just mm-hmm. find kind of interesting from a development standpoint. Auto Dota, because I had never heard of it prior to this week. Uh, so I did a bit of uh, I did a bit of research. It's essentially gratuitous space battles with like Dota. You 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 build your you 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 set like your army, you set your commander, they fire their abilities off periodically. Um and you try to clear out as many enemies as possible, and you get scored on that. Um, and I mean that, that that's interesting. There, there's some comparison in the article. They're saying, well, it's it has some overlap with trading card games because based on like the build of your hero and your unit selection, because it's hand off, hands off. You have to you have to keep in mind how these things interact with one another. And then they go into saying, well, because this is somewhat like a trading card game, and you have to sort of plan ahead. This is where we're, this is going to replace artifact, which is complete and utter nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be a complete, uh, you know, it wouldn't be that far fetched an idea to say, oh, we have this uh, bunch of money that we're going to use for artifact. But now that that game is basically dead, we might as well buy something that people actually enjoy. Uh, but yeah, no, I. I can't fathom why so many people like Dota. It's just not my cup of tea. I like uh, Paladins, which I guess is a sort of a MOBA. At least the concept is still the same. You're still playing as a hero. It's just that it's an FPS rather than a click around the um, Warcraft type of situation. So Mm. also chess is not really my thing. I will indulge in some uh, speed chess, but this is like Jordan said, it's like gratuitous space battle. So it may be worth the try. I don't know. It's free. It, Dota, Dota, Dota yep. 2 is free. So yeah. it, <laughs> Enough people, even outside of my main circle of people I know in Meat Spaces, I mean, this is how this came to me. It got on my radar. It's like, you got to try this. You'll enjoy this. Even if you don't like chess. I love chess. But they got to do something, man, because Artifact just, it hasn't went free to play yet. It will, mark my words. But, mm. It's basically that they're just going to say, you know what? It's done. Mm-hmm. 
Bye. I, 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 I'm expecting to hear something in around the summer where it's like, yeah, now that's no, free to play. Give give it give it six months to stand or fail. Something that's uh, not but, free to play is the Talos Principle, but it's been on sale plenty, plenty of times. Mm-hmm. If you build out uh, rolls off the tongue for 18338, it is available in open beta. You can just right click on properties, drop down, hop into it. It's going to be a 5.5 gigajoule update. So it's basically, you know, you're getting the game again. But they say, you know, they are pushing, well, backporting the updates that they've done to the Sirius engine. That's going to be the new Sirius Sam game. They've re- just wiped out OpenGL, so no more love for that. Works on Vulkan, Linux, DX12 for that other operating system. And, well, did, they didn't even mention anything about Max, did they? Huh. No. Though the, 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 They're probably just using, like, Molten VK to do the... GL probably to, to, could to be but <laughs> hey it i didn't notice anything we have a benchmark that has did i put that in the notes yeah i did oh you did, no. you did. yeah you linked it we, we've yeah. launched the, the don't want to awaken this we have forums ladies and gentlemen <laughs> didn't hear that from me they're ancient and they're old but they still technically work I ended up getting uh, 128.4 with a 2060, and that's with everything at UHD on 80. Uh, Empty got 101 with his 1060, and uh, Jordan, you got 176 with that old, ancient, crusty, last generation 1080 Ti. I know. It's I gotta throw this shit out. It's not acceptable anymore. Uh, I don't even know why I spent money on it. Heard it. Uh, I, I I was honestly surprised. I I went and double checked because <laughs> uh, I, I I went and double checked because like that was that was a little too performant given what I was seeing. <laughs> I don't and know. Like, you <laughs> say that, but I'm like, yeah, your thousand dollar video card should probably outperform my three hundred dollar video card by a bit. Count, count, counterpoint. So Pedro has the the non TI 1080 mm-hmm. and a yes. 1600. So he's got he's got more cores at a slightly lower clock, but not not quite equivalent. But I was expecting to see something closer to what I was expecting Pedro to get something closer to what I was getting. But you're you're seeing yeah, a bunch no, of dicks. Uh, it yeah no the that test that I ran is like browser running everything else was up. So that was I got an average of about 90. So, yeah, I'll run a proper test and post the results at some point. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah. pro team, I noticed you messed with the Matrix, man. I mean, Talos was a great little puzzle game. Admittedly, I probably have like 70 hours in it because I used it as a benchmark. You changed yeah. some shit in that benchmark with a movement. I saw it all three times. Yeah, the the camera, it now mm-hmm. stops when it turns and it looks down very often <laughs> I, i've seen that benchmark too many damn times man. It's yeah like, yeah <laughs> what, what, what 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 fucked me up though was like the have, having done a couple of playthroughs using the serious fusion on the on the thursday stream there's some instability with vulcan um and i don't think they have that 100 percent nailed down because when i when i launched it it did not like having your resolution changed at full screen it locked my box twice i'm <laughs> not to- really need- any if, problems if, with it if if I, if I switch it to window mode and change the resolution then it's fine but hmm. if it's full screen it just eats shit that yeah, was on my end a couple of updates ago though yeah on my end it didn't you know like freeze the box or crash or do anything it's just when it came back it was on a teeny tiny little corner of the uh uhd screen it's like how do you expect me to read that i posted a screenshot you could just zoom into like the um the top left corner that will be in the show notes. It's like, oh, okay. So we just Alt F4, start the game back up. There we go. <laughs> mm. All right. So there's an update to amnionic dildos. Yes, our our armadildos. They're they're <laughs> uh, they're coming out with uh, their 2.0 version, and they want some testing. Um, so you can uh, do the same thing you did with the Talos Principle um beta menu. Go to select public beta, download the game. Can, it, gives, it gives you some log locations. It's a Unity game, so it's about where you'd expect it to be. Um, and yeah, they're 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 looking for feedback. Uh, I think tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna see if anyone's interested in just doing a like an impromptu stream of the Armello 2.0 beta. Just just to like give them some feedback because Rule Spider was very very cheesy. He's like, le, please do not let me be the only playtester on the Linux. So uh, <laughs> we'll we'll throw him a bone. Um, 
But yeah, you you, you can bit. check no, this out. No, no, just do a, do a forever alone stream. Be like, it's just me. Why can't it's I find just anyone to play with? It's so empty. No, 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 nobody loves me. Nobody. <laughs> Dude, I, I mean, that's just like my regular Sunday, anyways. So it's not it's not that different. Um, but yeah, um, I'm I'm interested. Oh, it's gonna be like a lot of back end changes. They're probably gonna add a couple new heroes. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't think they're doing any like core changes to the gameplay itself. That seems to be pretty solid. So. All right, yeah. uh, Rocket Cars. Got to talk about this. Patch notes, oh, 1.58. couple things rolled out in this. Uh, the big one, really the only one we care about, is there's a new mutator, the Curveball Mutilator. It's a thing. You can throw Ugh. English on that little critter, and it spins like a snooker ball, and it's brilliant, and they've clearly forgot to inform the bots that they did that. It's fucking hilarious. I played um, a little bit of that nonsense, but... What else is thrown in here, Jordan? Did you see anything? Um, nothing. The 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 big thing that caught my attention was the the curveball thing because my first thought was, oh boy, more shit for them to fuck with me with. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> they they added some extra modes in free play. Um, there's a there's an input buffer if you want to, you know, not have super responsive controls. Uh, doing doing a big old control F Linux and nothing shows up. So, I guess that's it. That's the Curveball mutators, man. Oh, is, is, that's is pretty much curve. it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I don't care about Rocket League tournaments. I don't care about like the friends list or like season nine or whatever. That's <laughs> yeah, the whole concept of seasons in a video game. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I get it. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm thankful know, I, for the extra ball fuckery. Uh, though I would like to request that they add like a hand egg shaped ball or maybe a banana shaped ball i, I, st- I nice. still want to see the cylinder <laughs> like, 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 like like a soda can or something <laughs> yeah no dude, just get a soda to actually sponsor your rocket league no, they're no. probably oh, biting uh, both of you oh, are dude, going yeah, in the get, wrong direction mountain dew because mountain well, yeah. do, we already have a cube thing we need <laughs> wheels that are cubes <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> 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 It'll be brilliant. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, one new game this week. Yeah, yeah. The one new game, and it's early access, and it's one of those uh, management games where you have to manage your um, game creation studio. It's very meta, and this one is called City Game Studio, where you not only have you have to account for the games that your studio is making, you also have to account for the rest of the ecosystem, like a whole city just basically comprised of game development companies. Uh, there's a few names that you may recognize if you look at the trailers, like, oh, I see what they did with the... Um, the avoiding copyright issues there uh and yeah it's still an early access you can get it right now for uh it's 15 percent off so it's 10 pounds 53 that's an odd value i was guessing that's like 12.99 or 13.99 us ish if you really like these games because eh. I just, yeah. I just, I just, I just realized something going through the screenshots when you mentioned the the, the names of people. This mm-hmm. is the same Markov name generator that Roll Twenty uses for like <laughs> when you create a new character sheet. Um, yeah, but it, it's basically like Game Dev Tycoon, but you want you're you're also like fighting publishers, and it take it instead of like the game development side of things, it's looking more at the business development side mm-hmm. of things. Hmm. Um, I just really want to know what it feels like to fire eight hundred people. <laughs> After having a record-breaking year, it feels great, man. It feels mm. great. Activision, feels good. <laughs> how you doing? Hi. Yeah, <laughs> port some games to Linux. Why don't you? Wait, you can't because you fired all your developers. <laughs> Coming up next, we talk about Nvidia drivers because that is an entirely new topic that we've never, ever, 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 ever covered. Also, some Intel video cards, some impressive ones. Isn't it great? Oh, getting to look at our faces. Horrible. You're All... going to try to sell me a mattress. Uh, no, I was just going to try and sell us because now you can see us in full 1080p glory, despite my camera only doing 720p. So. Pedro, Pedro are you are you are you implying that we are mattresses? Because I take offense to that. I mean, you may be a mattress. I'm way know. too skinny. 
I, 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 I don't think so, but I think you are a malfunctioning mattress. And if you are some sort of malfunctioning sleeping implement, and you have a, and you're flush with cash, you can maybe, you can maybe toss some that our way. That's a segue. Yeah, sure. No, no, now I'm thinking it sounded like you said flesh with cash. And it's like, also, yes. Um, we don't, are, are you waifu pillows of ourselves? Just saying. If, if, if you are flesh <laughs> with cash, then you can head on over to LinuxGameCast.com. <laughs> click that support button. We got all sorts of stuff you can click on to help support us. Amazon affiliate links if you want to be Frank's buddy. Uh, Bitcoin if you want to give us untraceable internet currency that va- that massively val- varies from day to day in terms of what it's actually worth. Uh, you can head over to our store um, at uh, T-string, st- the the T-string, T-string. Where 118 uh, people are kicking us $264. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, great, 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 great. We're, 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 change- we're changing that up again. Yeah. No, uh, man. Uh, you, you change it each and every week, baby, so fuck off. Uh, you- <laughs> <laughs> we do have what? the video. We do have the video of uh, a look at our streaming setup, 45 fuck mothering minutes of uh, boring, detailed, like seriously, this is how everything works. I made that for everyone. Hope you like it. Maybe you don't. It's part of our Raptor bus proof series, you know, just in case I fall madly in love with a Raptor and elope with it on a bus. These two. I think I've seen <laughs> that movie. It's, it's brilliant, man. It, <laughs> didn't have Nick Wasn't Cage. Wasn't that a Chuck Tangle novel? <laughs> it, it, it is it is now <laughs> patent pending patent pending chuck tingle i'm wearing that don't you steal my intellectual property um but yeah no uh, be, become a patreon you get awesome stuff like access to our discord channel um early access to these videos that ven produces you can even show up on some of the game streams that we do say on friday or thursday by friendship is what you're trying to say right yes well it, it's the perfect parasocial relationship right you give us money and then we give you attention um and of, of course you know, yeah <laughs> We're basically a bait uh, cafe for the internet, yeah, right? Linux. Yeah, okay. I, I, I mean, we, 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 we can ratchet up the cleavage. Um, so, you, so you're saying they're paying you, us you, to you, leave you, 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 when, you, when you're we're done. like that? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but, you know, we, 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 we have a wish zone. Uh, we have a wish list, yep. And um, ben, ben needs a case. Yes. So if you want to cover your shame with our faces, look at those, uh, or at least a fake Hellman's mayonnaise sticker, you can head on over to teespring.com slash Linux Gamecast. We got all sorts of stuff you can buy. You can buy your, your friends a one chair t-shirt and laugh at them as they wear it, not knowing that you've just told them that they're a crappy friend. Um, Look at that. You can put that on people you don't like. Just put it right on their face. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, how painful it is is it to like put it on some arm hair and then rip it off? We got we got to test this. <laughs> Depends on how much super glue you put on it first. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna say three. Um, three. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, uh, if if you want the the other thing you can do to support us is uh, give us give us hardware, give us shit uh, from our Amazon wish list, mm-hmm. which you already talked about. You get to go on Frank's fuck wall. Um, look at that. Oh yeah, great. You can you can you still get that awesome be, Christmas hat. He does. You can be forever close to Frank's heart or whatever that thing is that Ben puts underneath. You ladies and gentlemen, you make it possible. So seriously, thank you for doing that. Yeah. Check out your name and credits and we keep rocking and rolling and terrifying people. Yes. It's yeah. a video yeah. goal, but we do have <laughs> So news that well, in true LGC fashion, we have some drivers. Ven, what's this about? I don't trust drivers. Man, this is like <laughs> one six short of being a really, really cool car, but it's not. <laughs> we have 418, 43, and naturally this is going to add uh, support for the 1660 Ti, which lets you know there's going to be even a shorter bus version of this. And uh, initial support for G-Sync compatibility, uh, compatible monitors. I'm gonna look, wait, I thought that was a thing. I don't know. Uh, stereo presentation not stereo penetration for vulcan <laughs> that's the thing the one thing i'm interested in is the nvn code api stuff that's going to be in video sdk 9 which is still not out but hey hey you know what at least we have a date first quarter yeah. 2019 so i'm kind of sitting around waiting on that uh yeah they've did a couple of other video bits that I'm not going to bore anyone with because unless you're even if you're streaming, you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't care. <laughs> and uh, that's the thing. I think it's kind of yeah. neat. Yeah. Um, the, the, the other thing uh, to call out here is uh, they're they're saying that they fixed the bug that was being exposed by DXVK. So it's good to see that uh, NVIDIA is paying attention to that. Um, it, it, was, it was surprising when we saw some wine related fixes many, many moons ago. 
in these driver patch notes. Uh, so it's good to see that they're uh, keeping their eye out for other things that are using their drivers extensively. Um, and you know, if you, if you if you like running nightly kernels, they got you covered, right, Pedro? Oh yeah, no. If uh, you happen to have tried uh, to build the NVIDIA drivers against a 5.0 kernel, you probably ran into a bit of an issue where uh, it said that yeah, one of the arguments that this uh, build script is trying to pass isn't uh, isn't all it's cracked up to be. And now they've actually fixed that, so now you can have your um, your NVIDIA drivers with your Linux 5.0 IRC six that it's at right now. I think. RC seven. seven, yeah, seven, seven, yes. seven got released on Friday, I think. Yep, um, they were yeah, so they know, had uh, many major issues with it. Um, yeah, no, I've, I've been I've been running them since uh, Friday. No, no real issues except for except yeah. I don't I don't know if uh, if Talos eating shit was a issue with the game or the driver, but you know, mm. yeah, whatever. <laughs> but now 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 that you have the drivers, you can get the card. Yay. <laughs> the 666 t no it's 666 this ti there's a review of this pc per all this nonsense is going to be in our show notes and you too can read along uh it it's not horrible i mean it's faster than a t 980 ti just six gigabytes of gddr6 120 watt card it does this was left out of the article, uh, have the new NV encode goodness. So, you know, for the five or six people streaming on Twitch that might be <laughs> interested, there's that bit of information. However, it's only $70 less than the 2060. Uh, kind of interesting. It's not a bad card. I think it's a, it's faster than a 1070. Let's go ahead and just put that out there because that's definitely Mar a thing. Marginally. Marginally, still faster, you know, still had sex with this. Uh, my thought is, is this NVIDIA just completely just saturating everything? Or was this kind of designed with them thinking Navi was about to be released? I, yeah. I, I think so. That's, that seems like the most likely situation. Um, and uh, go, going, going, going through the benchmarks, it looks like it's a decently performing card. Sebastian, man, where are the Vulcan benchmarks? We have Vulcan <laughs> games on the Windows. DX12's the future, brah. <laughs> No, yeah, right. it's, it's the it, it runs on Windows, Windows perspective, and... so that's oh, what you get. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Scott. It's your fault. I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, the big thing about the 1660 and, you know, this entire lineup of uh, cards that will be coming out uh, was the naming scheme. And everyone was throwing a bit of a hissy fit. It's like, what's with the naming scheme? Why is it the 16 and not the 11 or... I don't know, anything else other than the 16. It seems really weird. And to those people who are uh, saying that, I say, this is the same company that released The Shield, The Shield, and The Shield. Not to mention The Shield and The Shield, which were released as accessories for The Shield. What, what, so... what, about, what about the Titan X? <laughs> yes, you had the Titan X, and then you had the Titan X, and then you had the Titan X P, because but not fuck Titan, you. <laughs> but not the Titan 7 or the Titan 10. Um, yeah. So, so like, it's... Uh, uh, Gamers Nexus, they actually got in touch with uh, NVIDIA, so if you want to find out the actual reason, there's a link in the show notes you can click. It's basically, because it's in between the 10 and the 20 series, but it's closer to the 20 series than the 10, yeah. so instead of being the 15 series, it's the oh 16 series. Oh my god, series. I am so jelly of people who, who have an issue with this, because shit's going so right in your fucking life that <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. Listen, man, semantic versioning is important. I need to be able to establish, you know, quality based on numbers. The Turing I architecture mean, used, and it's the TU-16. I wonder if there's a f***ing connection with the name. Well, yeah, the the 16 at the end they added because it's like, it's not a 15 because it's, yeah. Well, I mean, come yeah. on, can, can you imagine the absolute um, cataclysmic shit show if they had ended it with an odd number, like the 7? <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> that that, that, that would have been great, like the 1653.ti the, the, the or whatever. Q. Oh, yeah. we need the 1653 now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, so I, I, I guess given, given this naming scheme, we're probably not going to get a 2050 we're gonna get a 1650 but what happens if we do get a 2050 we're gonna get like really cheap rtx it's, just, it's um, gonna have half of a tensor core in it 
it's yeah. going to be like the 950 it's going to be the why would you buy this video card <laughs> now if you're just getting a reference model of this it's not too bad man i mean it's like 270 dollars like the top in uh 1660s or like 10 bucks less than a 2060 uh, i even with the reference card man spend 70 dollars and get the 2060 might yeah, as so, well so save up for yeah. another month well you'll probably yeah. 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 i mean that, that that you're talking about a price difference of a video game so yeah. i i mean and you, you 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 can maybe not take play a new video game and just play quake 2 with ray tracing there you go <laughs> done <laughs> That is a thing, yes. <laughs> Very retro. Okay, Intel. Team Blue. Yes, Intel. So this is not the uh, dedicated GPU that everyone has been uh, foaming at the mouth with when it comes to Intel. That's the Doctor uh, Who this... font. Yes. Uh, this is, uh, they very clearly went for a, a Doctor Who theme there with the blue. But it's um, it's the new iris uh it's they had the uh, iris uhd uh which uh came after the Ouch. iris pro and now they have Ouch. the new iris which is the iris plus and they compared it to like the previous generation and they also compared it to the desktop version of the 2400g the same one i have on the uh, steam box and compared to the vega 11 in that particular apu these two are basically trading blows. It's the Vega 11 is better in one thing. The uh, Iris Plus is better in another. So, oh, so did did uh, built in? Huh. Good on you, Intel. Good oh yeah. You. Well, yeah, it's amazing <laughs> I mean, I mean, that a little upstart like Intel could compete with AMD and in integrated graphics. Right. Well, uh, so so I, I mean, always had the upper hand on that one. <laughs> the, the well, the, the the impressive thing for me is this is supposed to be the 15 watt part. So we don't we yes. don't know if it's going to be just like really low voltage desktop chip or um or a laptop chip. If it's a laptop chip though, and it's competing with an actual desktop part, that is legitimately impressive. Intel, I'm impressed. I am a little I'm I am a little cheese though. This this is the other this is another one of the instances of Jordan goes and buys something and then like a month later <laughs> someone announces like the even better thing. <laughs> It, it it is a law of the universe. I'm writing a math paper to prove it. But yeah, I, I bought I bought the 2700G for the IGP performance, and Intel's just like, hey hey buddy, we got we got we got this, and it'll just kick its ass up and down the street. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. What do you think now? Seeing the actual performance on this, uh, these numbers seem legit, and it, it's neck and neck and faster than you know the new Vega hotness on chip anyway. Do you? With the discrete cards, I was just thinking, do you think they're going to do like some weird fuckery with their discrete GPUs from Intel? Like getting some like x86 acceleration, like on the PCI? I, th I, think I think there's a good chance. I don't know. I don't even know if that'd do anything. I don't know why I had that thought, but it's like, I wonder, man. They could, but why would they? Just, just or, 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 or like people. some, or like some. <laughs> Or I don't know, maybe, like, maybe like, or maybe like a couple like uh, like 400 megahertz or something like Knight's Corner um, chips or uh, dies in the IGP. So you can do software acceleration Hell on yeah. your hardware. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm not an Intel engineer. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> We're, it's we're, a GPU, we're GPU, speculating you know. at this point. Right. For all we know, it, if we pop the lid off it, there's going to be a little hamster on a wheel running. Like we don't know. See, I'd actually buy one of the Intel dedicated GPUs if that was the case. There's your money. <laughs> it was just a hamster. hamster. Yeah. So, uh, Pedro, <laughs> you have one of those fancy newfangled uh, variable refresh rate things or something? Free sync monitor, ah, yes. That's what, it is. that's what the kids are calling it. Yeah. Uh, it's an LG 24UD58. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, the, the VRR window on this particular monitor is very tiny, but. It does work with the new NVIDIA drivers, and if you enable I the G-Sync compatibility. And I, I just gave him a lead into the next story, but we're going to yes. get the monitor. And uh, going from that lead, I was able to test uh, the Nixilla VRR test, which is available on GitHub. You can download it, and it was uh, built on the Love engine. Basically, you just download Love, and then you load this through that. You and don't just I, I wish I could download Love, love Pedro. Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> it's the internet. Of course, you can download Love. Have you heard of Tinder? 
<laughs> no, no, that, that 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 that's not love. That that's hepatitis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's just an STD. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's uh, it's good to see love actually getting some love, I guess. But yeah, Jordan, you had things to say. I did. I, I gave this a try too because I got a UHD free sync monitor over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 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 yeah, and I mean it works. And it, you, 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 you can run it on the non VR monitors and do the thing too. And now that I've seen it side by side, I can say it's, a, it's all right, Matt. Yeah. Um, I, I, I will say, I will say this: uh, the version of Love in the Fedora repos is very out of date. Um, old love. <laughs> old that it's that old useless love. It won't run the app. Uh, but fortunately, um, the love guys actually provide an app image, so you can have portable love. Yeah, you, you can download from the internet, put on your computer, and you you too can feel the love. Hmm. And yeah, that's basically like, what I did. <laughs> yep. Um. And yeah, like 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 I said, like I I had it on the VR monitor. I had it on the non VR monitor. I'm like, I'm not. I'm I'm, I'm not seeing it. Like. You can see it. It's like, uh, especially if you start to go down towards the forties. Uh, do you have to go down on love? Yes. You, you have to you go just down need to love hard. to go down. Is <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Once you start to get down to the forties, you can actually see like the difference in smoothness between what is being uh, G synced or free synced in this case, uh, and what isn't, and. All things considered, uh, what FreeSync does, at least for me with the 1080, uh, I usually get more than 60 FPS in most games, and the ones that I don't are usually so bad that they're already outside of the VRR window for this monitor. So I'm just going to keep using the uh, forceful composition pipeline. That does a better job of, uh, you know, not tearing. I'm, 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 I mean, uh, yeah, at, 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 the, at this point, until we start seeing some better freezing stuff out of AMD, that's basically going to be it. It's, it's all right. It's okay. Yeah. If, if your computer, if your computer can't run it anyways, it's not going to be the magic bullet that will I make know. it perform. <laughs> I feel so bad for you, Ven. Do you want, come, 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 come here. Give, give, give me a hug. I'll, I'll give you a little smooch on the cheek. Um, I'm so glad I'm already dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> so so pedro i know that you love rgb and you just need everything to be illuminated in varying colors right sure why not i have a mouse that does some colors uh all right, all right, all right. Take, take take a shot he brought up the mouse again he did the uh there was someone who actually uh took the cookie on the internet this week because demon singer on reddit was like Linux doesn't have an app for controlling my new uh, Still Series mouse's uh, RGB LED. Yolo. And he said, you know, he said this. It's like, okay, so I just, you know, ended up writing my own, and it's now available. And it's derived from uh, Rival CFG. So if you have used Rival CFG in the past, you can use it. He just called it Rival Color. And yeah, it's. It's a thing that lets you control your still series uh, mouse. Uh, in his case specifically, it was the one that had the ability to sync the RGB with the fluctuations audio. with the audio. Yes, I with the audio would throw you out of a window <laughs> if you did that. Listen, man, if you, if you want the true audio surf experience, you gotta you gotta do that, um, and then just take like a bunch of acid. Um, <laughs> It's what kind of world would this be if you couldn't have the YOLO swag on Linux as well? If you just, had, you know, your full RGB mouse. <laughs> I just, I just love this guy's attitude. This thing doesn't exist. Instead of complaining about it, I'm just gonna write my own. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I here's the thing though, like we, we already have, though, man. I mean, yep, yeah, yeah. Um, the 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 one the one pit nit I have to pick though is I really hope he sends a lot of this stuff over to the brat bag because. They're doing their best to get all the gaming mouse functionality under one library under Linux. And having and it's it's a bit annoying having like six different programs to configure things. It's it's nicer to just have one unified place you can go yeah. to. Uh and that one unified place you'll soon be able to go to will be the kernel, believe it or not. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> getting there there are like legitimate discussions about getting um yeah, RGB control. I mean, there's. I guess there are worse places to put it. It seems like it would be a more user space thing, though. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't make these rules, man. I just I mean, I, listen. listen I, 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 need, I need to be logged in as firmware. You need, I need to be logged in as it, root. I change going my to put colors on my mouse. Paint over it anyway. So whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there are motherboards that have firmware that lets you. you know, I will throw it out the window. GPs. And it'll land on you. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, yeah, let's play a new game. Throw RGB motherboards at Pedro and see who can hit. All right. Yeah. So um, oh. speaking of reverse engineering stuff, um, this guy decided, you know what? Thimbleweed Park is great, but I want to write my own engine for it. So he's reverse engineering it. This is uh, from Scamino. Uh, it's on GitHub. You can find links in our show notes. This is NGG. NGG, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is a re-implementation of the Thimbleweed Park engine. Um, it was a little CMake. Motherfucker, you want make me want to type engage, but you, you like let me down, you engage tease. <laughs> the Nokia engage, man. We're no, we're all about those timey <laughs> timely video gaming references uh, here yes. at Linux Game. Yeah, Games. baby. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, if 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 you want to play Thimbleweed Park with this engine. You can drop it in the gate folder and run it. It's not really working right now. I guess it's just like a project this guy wanted to do. That, listen, yeah. you can learn a lot when you, you, you the or, original principle of your project is fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess fuck it would have to be because it's Thimble Wheat Park. It's a relatively recent game. Do you really need to reverse engineer it this needs one? Do you a have Vulcan render is all I'm saying. Do you really want to run it on Haiku? Yep. <laughs> I, I I mean like I'm I'm curious I'm curious if um I'm curious if like scum can run something like Thimbleweed Park. That would be I don't think it it's probably that can. Retro. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Mm. Can maybe, it run Duke well, cuz scum can run some like relatively newer stuff too. So Yeah, yeah man, I was playing GTA 5 the other day in it. <laughs> I w I wish you could do that. That'd be amazing. Um speak speaking speaking of ports, how about some blued um, yeah, this is from the Eduke 32 forums. Uh, they have um, a blood port based on Eduke 32. You can compile it, uh, drop it, uh, drop the game files in the uh, compile in the compilation directory. Uh, you gives you the list of the ones you need, and run it. And that that's the great thing about uh, stuff like Eduke 32, where you can, if it's based on the same engine, you can more or less just do a drop in binary place as long as. You do some testing. I want to know though, and I've been I've been asking this for years ever since we've been covering like Eduke stuff. Was where the hell are when the hell are we going to get an Eduke thirty two port of William Shatner's Tech War? That is the <laughs> sci fi epic that I am missing under Linux right now. I'm going to have to starring William Shatner and Tori Higginson. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, 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 see... we need we need more Shatner on Linux. <laughs> I did see the uh, the video. Uh, if you the, in that thread that's in the show notes, uh, there's a video of the dude actually showing you the. Um, I think it's the first level, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, no, it looks the part. It if you know the Eduke thirty two engine, you probably immediately recognize whenever something is. is oh, it's just straight up Duke Dukem with a different uh, change in enemies and weapons and whatnot. But uh, I mean, they actually did some clever things, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Blood was one of the first games to have an alternate fire on weapons. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's, not like, it's not like the Doom engine where people like started porting Bible stories to it, which is kind of antithetical to Doom in general, but, you know. We do, that's, we, a, that's, what's a, that's what someone... Oh, dude, that's what someone needs to do for 2016 Doom, is mod in, like, the old Noah's Ark levels. <laughs> yes, Noah's Revenge, man. He's back. <laughs> Okay, and uh, the, we 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 got we got one last story before we dun, head dun, on dun. over to the chair acquisition from Tom's Hardware. Um, we we get, we got this wonderful headline from uh, Nathan Mott or Nathaniel Mott from uh, Tom's Hardware. Uh, did Nvidia accidentally reveal Unity ray tracing? And Scott Michaud comes in with a Betteridge law, and he's like, "No, they 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 didn't. It's been on their Git repo for months. What? Wow. This, is not, this is not news. <laughs> Fucking so, kill. Let, let people speculate at least for like a day." Uh, kind of just ruined the fun for Tom's hardware. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Scott, Scott Scott came in there. He just fucking stomped on that. He's like, no, don't don't do that. Yes. Yeah, so you, yes. Um. The 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 the, the point of contention here is that um, it it uh Unity has not made any sort of announcement about ray tracing. It's in their Git logs, but Jensen is all like, yeah, we're gonna have ray tracing in Unreal and Unity, and it hasn't been announced. Well, this is the whole thing, man. I mean, yeah. RTX all is not 
new. Rage racing, not new. Having hardware dedicated to it, new. So yeah, Ish. support for this yeah. is technically could be in it could be in your shoes. But then, don't you know? No. It just works. Safe bet with me, just no. We we we, we need some we need it some Ray Ban <laughs> Ray Ban, if you want to send us some I don't know, man. <laughs> uh okay. I mean it's Unity. The the uh, we we've seen some shit shows from Unity. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I, I really want to see because Vulcan does support hardware ray tracing, which we learned. Yes. I, I can't wait for the ray trace button, the RTX on button showing up in Unity and that getting tapped along with the Vulcan button getting tapped along with the poop out to Linux Next button. Oh, it's going to be delightful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it, 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 literally, it literally just gives you the, the installer for the, or just gives you the binary for uh, Quake 2 ray tracing. You, you try to run that, you get your baseball bat ready just in case. <laughs> it's, your computer starts screaming at you. You try to launch it under <laughs> Linux. Goes, Why would you do this to me? Why did you program me to feel pain? Never to be seen again. So like, do you, we really want an RTX button in the hands of the people who put out, you know, the people who created the Unity Ghetto? Yes. I mean, I mean, no. they didn't create it. They just didn't. <laughs> uh, you you got to blame Desura for that. Thanks, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come, speaking of pain, coming up next, we're going to get some inflicted on us. Throwing chairs at Dark Souls. Welcome to the Chair Acquisition. This is where we take a game and we see if it survives trial by Fedora, Solus, and Ubuntu. And then, and then after all that, we ask, is it fun? Do we enjoy it? This week, we're taking a look at uh, Dark Souls 3. Uh, it's via Proton, not actually ported to Linux. It's developed from, by From Software on the <laughs> Fire Engine. From, from, yeah, and um, you can pick it up for about... Uh, God damn it, Pedro. Why'd you put euros in front of there? You can pick it up for about uh, 60, 60 USD. Um, in plus, plus minus your regional pricing. What is it? As fires fade and the world falls into ruin, journey into a universe filled with more colossal enemies and environments. Players will be immersed in a world of epic atmosphere and darkness through faster gameplay and amplified combat intensity. So, man, how, 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 to, how to play on a bunch of. Ha, ah, you didn't blow up the uh, filter. So, Good. <laughs> over here on 1810, the Humbuntu's Ryzen 1700, 16 gigs of RAM, 2060 SSDs and all that jazz. Does it launch? It's Proton, latest and greatest. Uh, no issue. I mean, it does take a minute. Kind of launches in the upper left-hand corner, the UHD monitor, and a white screen of like, how is this going to play out? Works every time. Didn't have any issues with it. 1080p, as far as performance, everything slammed to the right. Holds a solid 60. Unless it doesn't, it will occasionally dip into the 45s because reasons you do. Sometimes you're like, oh, it's kind of loading some new things. and But overall, completely playable. Graphics, take a look at it. No glitches. Didn't have a problem. The color palette, even though Pedro is like, no, wait till you get to the forest. Pedro, that forest looks decidedly brown, too. That's uh, the swamp, not he, the forest. I told you, Steve. <laughs> that's the excuse. I, I play an island. Uh, let's talk about that. To which I'll say, ha, 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 ha. fuck this game. Uh, they, this is one of those situations where the controls work as intended, so I can't fault it for that. I will throw this a solid clean bill of health with four chairs. On uh, Fedora 28, I was about to say 26, that's a lot. 64 bit with the uh, GTX 1080 Ti and the i7-6700K. If it launches, yeah, 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 it launches. Uh, performance wise, it more or less maintains a solid 60 at 1080. You can't bump it up to like UHD or anything, and I didn't bother trying. Um, but I didn't experience any particularly bad frame dips. Um, wasn't doing this on the FreeSync monitor either. Uh, graphics wise, I really, really, really love the aesthetic of these games. Grimdark Fantasy is a bit of a weakness of mine, and this game does it super well. Um, yeah, I I, 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 I love a lot about this game. I just don't like the gameplay. Control wise, yeah, uh, so there, there's a bit of a story here. Uh, by default, uh, the Steam input settings on the DualShock 4, uh, the mouse is bound to the accelerometer, the six axis. Yep. And so I was very, very curious while I was going through the menu, why is the mouse going all over the place? Is this going to be a problem in the game? Then I set the controller down and I realized, oh, um, from software does provide a couple of different uh, Steam input schemes, which is nice. Although one thing I did notice is that um, 
is that uh, the thing for target lock, which is the clicking on the right stick, doesn't uh, work out of the box uh, because there's two contexts that the game uses, menu and in-game. And for whatever reason, Steam input thinks that in-game is the menu and that particular key isn't bound. Um, every, yeah, and the, beyond that, just my everything in my brain is just screaming for Square to be attack. And it's, it's it's messing me up. I keep I drink too many Estes flasks as a result of that. <laughs> uh, I'll give I'll give it three cheers. That control issue was really annoying to uh, to sort. Um, and that's it. Yeah, and over here, uh, it launches just fine, but it develops a bad case of the crash when you try to record or stream it, which I should have remembered because I tried to stream it a while back and it kept crashing. But Sad playing normally, minute, if by the way. If you don't have uh, OBS running, it it's solid. It actually works really well. Uh, at 1080p, it basically stays on 60. The only times I notice the drops is when I'm getting invaded or I'm being summoned because I left my summon sign down somewhere and I'm being summoned to someone else's game. Uh, the graphics, yeah, it looks pretty. There's, It's kind of a shame that they use that piss filter that you can see on video right now uh, over some areas, uh, but... Others are actually very colorful and very... They heavily saturate the colors in some areas uh, deliberately. It, I don't know why they do that, but yeah, it's a good looking game. Uh, also, every room that you walk into uh, is massively detailed with IKEA furniture because it blows up the moment you touch it. The controls. Steam input is built directly into the game. They even had a bit of a bundle with the Steam controller and Dark Souls 3. So... Yeah, you know that the game was built for that specifically. At least the PC port was. Uh, and if you're like me and Jordan and you have a DualShock 4, uh, yeah, the 6-axis is bound to the mouse by default, so you just go into the controls options, you disable that, it's gone. And the you can also change the right trigger and right bumper to just, you know, circle and the the cross and all of, or the square and the um the triangle and all of a sudden the attacks are where they should be that's basically what i had to do so if it weren't for the uh, crashiness i'd give it a full clean uh f- clean bit of clean bill of health but as it stands it only gets three chairs <laughs> okay well there you go a couple issues here and there more or less stable as is befitting something on the whitelist Mm-hmm. So, Ven, yes. Jeff, 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 fun after all this? Man, you know I'm going to love this, because on paper, I should rather like the Dark Souls series. This open world hack and slash, hell a nightmare fuel, something that gives me a chubby. This, this generally made me tilt my head and say, <laughs> it's retarded. Um, <laughs> it, it just did, we've all seen that coming. You're genuinely playing a video game with special needs. I mean, everything from the inconsistent menu navigation multiplayer that requires a guide and a jump mechanic that basically makes Scientology seem reasonable. Uh, After all, this is a series built on the ground, the foundation of shit controls and a camera hellbent on killing you. I can't really say anything that hasn't been said ad nauseum on the internet by people like me who just don't fucking get it. I don't. Dark Souls, I look at you with sympathy. It's not anger. Uh, However, I'm going to say this. You're doing something right. Yeah, you are, because the internet genuinely loves playing the Dark Souls series and bitching about how hard it is or how bad it is. Uh, So you got a good formula and it works for some people. And that's awesome for me. If you're wondering, hey, should I get into this? Don't. It genuinely just isn't that fun. Uh, I don't like self like flagellation, man. That's not my thing. Not my thing. One chair. Yeah, speaking of self-flangulation, I'm guilty of that because I beat the crap out of myself and my hardware when I get really, really mad at yeah, games. Guess what happened with this one? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I knew I wasn't going to like it going into it. I played a bit of Dark Souls 2 with some friends a couple years ago, and I resolved very, very quickly. Like, I no, I, I understand what this game expects of me. I don't, I, I, I just don't have the patience or the temper to... Um, Ah, get your face sucked out, Pedro. <laughs> Do it. Get, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Sorry. <laughs> now, for you audio of it listeners, I, I apologize. But um, 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a shame though because like everything else about this game, I fucking love the the the, the soundtrack, the, the the story, the setting, the aesthetic. It's just so good. If I if there was like a turn based game based on this thing, I would be all over it. Um, but for whatever reason, like getting getting my brain in the mode that this game expects me to be in, I just can't do it, and I just get too frustrated and. I don't, I don't, I don't like injuring myself, and this game made me go through one keyboard. I gotta go buy a bunch of new keys for it now. Um, maybe, maybe playing second someone in multiplayer might make it a little better for me. Um, but like, I, I did not enjoy playing this game. I enjoy watching people play this game, but it's not, it's, 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 it's just not for me. One sure. Yeah, as the one person who finished Dark Souls and the DLC and Dark Souls Two and the DLC. Uh, take what I'm about to say with a wood grain ring. Trust me, it'll stop your sword from breaking before you get to the next bonfire. Dark Souls 3 is different than the previous two because the combat is faster. The combat is... Uh, it takes a lot of inspiration from Bloodborne because it was released after Bloodborne. Uh, so, yeah, the combat here is not as slow and methodical as it used to be in the previous two. Uh, the... But this is not entirely a bad thing, especially if you're a newcomer to the series. This is probably the one that you want to start with because it's much more approachable. And at a technical level, considering how bad the uh, original ports for Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 were, this is actually very, very good. Uh, this is a game, yeah, like the level design, it gets its porn from just watching level design documentaries because... Everything is riddled with lore. Everything is uh, there for a reason. And that's how you get the story, because the game doesn't hammer you over the head with story. It just puts the story there, and if you want to look at it, you can go look at it. Uh, if you like exploring and being presented with a challenge, well, I guess you could go play the Talos Principle, but this, if you're not into puzzles, this is your alternative. Dark Souls 3, being the most technically competent and having a faster, uh, I guess you could say more forgiving combat, is the most approachable of the Souls series. Even if I personally think that Dark Souls 2 was the best uh, game in the series. That's an unpopular opinion. Even though it's not my favorite Dark Souls game, it's still very, very fun for me. I love the... Soul series, uh, even um, Demon Souls on the PS3, which I totally played with our PCS3. But yeah, it, I love this series, and despite not being the best in the series, it's still a pretty damn good game. So I'm gonna give it four chairs. All right, well there you go. Um, we got, Did we anybody got any not see those four chairs coming? I you know I, I like the Soul series. <laughs> yeah. Pe Pe Pedro, Pedro is very obvious about what he likes, and what he likes is to espouse, eja ejaculate constantly about One games. of the things I'm going to say about the Dark Souls series, and I did a ridiculous amount of research, because I want to know what makes people really dig this, and one thing I've heard several times was, well, it's got its own charm, to which I will retort. Charm is something reserved for indie games, not $60 AAA titles. You don't get to have fucking charm at that price. So everything is done with absolute intention, which I'm not going to fault the developers for. I mean, they built it to play like it plays and fucking suggestion stick is the controller and butt shots. That was kind of funny, but that gets old yeah. after a while. <laughs> um, yeah. What, 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 what do you call it? There's, the, there's, the, there's that old meme of like that interview with Miyazaki where he's like saying, Playtesters were saying this game was too hard, so I made it harder. Like, <laughs> I don't that basically it, boils down the design ethos of, the, of these games. I don't even feel that it's unpopular opinion. I mean, if you want to be patient, you can effectively cheese your way through this whole fucking game. I've watched people do it on YouTube. Oh, without yeah. much effort. Yeah. <laughs> And the game actively rewards you for just luring enemies off cliffs or, you know, throwing them off of an elevator shaft. Or, or luring like them it. into Dragon's Breath. Yeah. That's I, how I cheesed I like a lot it. of souls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, there, there you go. That's the LGC hot take on Dark Souls 3. Stay tuned when we review Bloodborne when the PlayStation 4 emulator comes out. <laughs> Coming up next, we have quite a bit of hate mail this week we're gonna we're gonna get to it 
That was a bit of a journey, wasn't it? Well, it's about time we uh, wrap this up. It's about time we pulled into the station and said mm-hmm. our goodbyes, but not before we give you a chance to talk to us. And uh, yeah, it, we've certainly given you plenty of uh, fodder to uh, load that particular cannon. So this is like fire the away. Dark Souls of the Hate Mail segments. Yeah, the Dark Souls of staying awake, man. <laughs> <laughs> and let us know what you think we did wrong, what uh, you think we could improve on. Just send us some hate mail. You can do that by going to LinuxCampCast.com. You hit the contact button. You make sure LGC Weekly is the thing that you pick on the choosy box. Or you can uh, ask Jordan for relationship advice. If you're a game developer, you can send us some keys. Make sure to include three or a build that we can share amongst all of us. Uh, that's really all we ask for. As long as we can play your game, all three of us, that's that's all well and good. So, uh, Cody uh, actually had something to say. Please don't sexualize Pedro. It's bad enough that he is a needy, soulless user. Let's not give him more credit. Okay, you know, I'm, so I'm, apparently I'm, I'm, we're I'm, I'm, rehashing I'm, old stuff. Here, 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 here is my counter to that. After after watching what what are we on? 340 episodes of Linux Game Cast. How have you not concluded that Pedro is a dildo, a literal sex object that should be sexualized? Yes, objectify me, bitch. Do it. Yeah, I'll show you my ass. <laughs> you see, defense mechanism, ladies and gentlemen. I'm- all of my cognitive functions is tapped out, so we got no <laughs> mental images, none. But right in, it, oh, come on, right Ben. You know it. you want to. So, <laughs> stick you up my ass, too. One thing we got to talk about uh, is sync. Uh, Kim, Kimo, no, Kimbro. Kimbro. Right. <laughs> now, I know why you hide behind hide behind your mics. Uh, that, way, that way, no one is able to see the audio desync. But how was I able to figure that out with all three of you hiding behind these pop filters? I thought we were hiding behind mics, man. Make up your fucking mind. Oh, comma, wait. Because we've said that we hide behind pop filters so that we can hide the desync? We're, we're ter- terrible about that. Right. I don't know. Um, give, me, give me a clap, Pedro. Yep. Jordan? <laughs> I like how you did it. <laughs> that was the weakest clap. <laughs> Next hate mail. Uh, I, can, I, can, I can do that for way too long. This is, this is from uh, one of the developers of uh, Skeleton Dance Party, a game that we threw some chairs at a couple weeks ago. He says, what's up, dudes? I'm one of the developers. Thanks for the review. I understand you encountered a few performance issues while playing the like the loading times and some of the AI pathfinding. We'd be very interested in hearing some more of your feedback so we can improve the game's performance on the Linux system in the future in a future update. If you'd like, drop us a line or hit me up through either of our studio's Discord servers and I'll listen and take some notes on some more in-depth feedback. You know what? Maybe, maybe you should come on to our show so we can we can talk about it. That would, yeah. That'd be kind of neat. <laughs> no. Never. And I think we were all very clear when it came to like the uh, skeleton pathfinding and the loading times taking forever. Yes. Uh, and there was even a video that showed every single one of those things happening. So, yeah, I mean, we could talk Ultimately, to you. Ultimately, at the end of the means. day, uh, the reason for the loading time uh, rhymes with it was doing it on one thread. Yeah, it was a one one single thread. So Just it was, it was making rye bread, is what you're saying? <laughs> is that that rhymes with one thread? I don't have anywhere to go with that, man. <laughs> I really don't. It's very dry. <laughs> hey, man, send us some spicy bullshit for next week, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And do remember, do not activate the spam golem. You probably want to keep URLs out of there and like use, use your words and your fee-fees like we do each and every week. Because on that bombshell, let's cue the music. You can always find us around 9.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time when we bring this nightmare fuel to you live. It's brilliant. Come join in the audience. That's a little more terrifying. If you want to get a hold of me, the place you can do that is at Vince Stone on Twitter. We have a mastodon. I'm there somewhere, but good luck finding me. 
I'm Jordan Spung. You can find me commentating on various loaves of bread at the at the Burning Fool on Twitter. Plus Jordan Swung on Google Plus until April and at Projo at our Mastodon at mastodonlinuxgamecast.com. What about you, Chris? I am Peter Mateus. You can... Well, first of all, I'd like to mention that I take offense to, you know, Ven implying that I use words. Really? <laughs> After all this time, you still think I use yeah, I, I... words? <laughs> Wor- <laughs> I, I just make but random hey. noises. <laughs> Yeah, if you would like uh, more of my random noises in uh, text format, you can go to twitter.com forward slash unaccounted for. That's F O U R. That's where you can find me. It's uh, down there. You can just read that bit. That's it. Yeah, that, that, that's how you get in touch with me. <laughs> how many words did he use there? Like two and a half? See, the beautiful thing about the system that everyone go watch the video is I can mute him when he's talking. Just for yes. me. <laughs> So I just wait until it looks like it's done. Then, <laughs> then I sit back, relax, and roll the credits. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. you call calling yourself out. <laughs> yeah, mate. I mean, it was only two weeks in a row. It's fine. <laughs> So, so we're we're an extra large CCC, is what you're saying. Arthur and Foxy empty atomic gas. Mike G. Barren from Seven Aldis Haplo, Haplo and Mackie. Haplo and Justin Mackie. Blogger is blogger still a thing? Yes, I think just for Google stuff. <laughs> yeah, oh. bo- uh, Google bought them. Mm. Well, no, they, they they bought them a while ago, and, like, I I thought they, like, discontinued Blogger, except for, like, a couple of the Google blogs, or I might just be smoking crack. They uh, discontinued Blogspot in favor of Blogger, supposedly, I think. I don't know. <laughs> it's way too early in okay, okay. the morning. <laughs> here's here's a question. Well, actually, no. Never mind. That's, that's a bad question, because I know the answer to that. <laughs> Blogs, but well, let's Google, man. I mean, if they haven't killed it yet, just hold your breath for a minute. They'll get it done before you have to take yeah. another. No, no, just, just, just start actively using it, and then they'll kill yeah. it. Yeah, just start to think. Yeah, this is actually useful, and then dead. True story. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Five dudes. <laughs>